In the last episode of Beyond Borders, we kicked off our journey through Southeast Asia in Thailand's vibrant heart, Bangkok. We're doing a documentary, kind of. Uh, this is our first time. Uh, mm-hmm. It's only him and me, yeah. uh, our backpacks and his camera. We came to discover what locals really think about this fascinating country. When someone says Thailand, what is the first thing that you think about? We always keep the principle of Buddhism with ourselves all the time. It's a hard word, but uh, is it like, do they rape women? We, we still have something like that. Not only did we get to hear their thoughts, but we got to experience the tastes, sounds and sights of this ancient and colourful culture. How often do you do this? That is so special. And above all, we learned about the true heart of Thailand, the people. For me, the most interesting about Thailand is people, I guess. I think as a people, Thai people is a really good heart. For Thai people, they are so welcome. Are you proud to be Thai? Oh, I'm so proud. Thailand, nice people, so we would like to like, uh, you come to visit, yeah? Okay. okay. <laughs> I've never in my life met people so lovely and nice. It's incredible. But we're not done with Thailand yet. Next, we head to the ancient northern province of Chiang Mai, where we will live and work with Thai locals so we can experience the Thai lifestyle firsthand. Oh, it's good! Yeah. Ever since Rennie and I met, one thing that connected us was our curiosity. We always knew that we wanted to travel the world and explore new cultures, but not the type of travelling you might be thinking of. We all know how much fun it is getting drunk in hostels and hanging out with other white people, but our mission is way beyond that. We wanted to find out what makes people, people. What makes us different, but most importantly, what we all have in common. We came to the realisation that most big metropolitan areas around the world are quite alike thanks to our friend globalisation. So in order to uncover the real Thailand, we knew we had to go deep into the countryside. So that's why we're in a car with a complete stranger, driving to Huey Pakut, a tiny little town that we'd never heard of, and chances are, you haven't either. This town is home to the Karen people, a semi-tribal ethnic group that calls Thailand home. It's also home to Mahouts, which are caretakers of the elephants that call this region home. This is where we met Root, a Mahout and a member of the Karen community, and our host for our time in Huey Pakut. Hi Root. Hi. <laughs> So Root, you're making uh, handmade tobacco? Karan Siga. Okay, from Karan tribe. Last 200 years, uh, women made from the uh, single man. For single man? Mm-hmm. Ah. To get them? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to try it right now? Yeah. Okay. And you put it in a like a leaf? Yeah, I banana. Made, I made banana leaf. Yeah, banana leaf. Oh, okay. oh it's gonna be strong. Not strong. No? I make not strong. Okay. <laughs> because I make uh, perfect. Ah. <laughs> it's perfect. So this is from a tobacco plant? Uh, or different? Tamarind skin. Tamarind skin. Yes. Oh no, I'm making it worse? No! Karasika. <laughs> 200 baht. No! <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> Yeah, stronger. <laughs> <laughs> I think you walking make you <laughs> yeah. make you same drunk. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> drunk smoking. Yeah. <laughs> After getting acquainted with our host Root and learning the ancient art of Karen cigar making, it was time for lunch. Spicy. Good. Do you like it? Spicy, good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not too spicy. Don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I love chicken. Oh, poor chicken. <laughs> Sunday, Wednesday. <laughs> um. Um. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
It's safe to say, Rennie would prefer Kentucky Fried Chicken style, but she gave it a solid go anyway. Did you eat everything there? Yeah, eat everything. Shh, shh. Kentucky? <laughs> no, 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 no. Mm. Why, why, why is it spicy? Uh, because I like it. But chili <laughs> or? Uh, uh, chili. See? Mm. And I'm ridiculously picky with things. I should know how to eat better. Because I've had experiences like this in Mexico. Not, of course not like this, but I've had been like with communities and I, I know what like. How to eat organically, but I can't. And I'm looking forward to learning how to cook. I mean, how do I eat? Or maybe not. Or maybe I'll stick with being vegetarian. After sampling some of the local cuisine, Root organized a trip for us to the local school to meet some of the community children. Education is one of the most important aspects we want to explore, and we believe the well-being of children reflects the well-being of the community as a whole. So, um, Root, out of nowhere, he just like dropped us off in a school. <laughs> and everyone was so welcoming, all of the yeah. teachers. Uh, we entered first like uh, the nursery. They all went crazy, crazy, crazy. And we taught them some like English words. More than anything, I think it was like we were playing with them. Yeah, totally fun with them. They were so like, I don't know how to say in English, but they were so like loving. giving love. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, so, so Roll loving. flowers they gave Rennie. And you too, they gave us Me so many well. flowers at the end. They all lined up so like, patiently for the, for the lunchtime meal. It's, it's incredible, like, I don't know, coming back to the subject about like, uh, misconceptions and stereotypes, you know, like people think sometimes that the people that don't have a lot of money, maybe they're like the less educated, mm -hmm. that these kids, like, they're so, so, like, so educated, so polite, they're waiting, they don't speak, I'm completely sure it's part again of the religion and the culture, yeah. you know, but you go to, I don't know, like an American school or wherever, uh, like a first world school, everyone is just so messy, no one cleans up, they're just expecting the janitor or expecting whoever to clean, mm -hmm. and here everyone, everyone helps making the food, everyone helps cleaning up, everyone helps serving the food, you know, it's just, we should learn so much from that, yeah, you know, sure. it's incredible. So this is Swipe Akut. Yeah, so we are trying to see what we're gonna do, if we're gonna stay here longer or not. We don't really have a budget, because mm -hmm. <laughs> we're gonna be traveling for a long time. But we're gonna try and find a way to stay here. A lot of like foreigners come here to see the elephants and to volunteer in the community. Um, so, but a lot of them uh, end up paying and they, they pay through an organization called GVI, which is like a volunteer organization. But we came here through one of Renata's friends, um, Anna. So we've kind, of, we've kind of come through a different um, channel than most people. And we've come trying our best not to pay uh, the large fee that they charge here because we are traveling for seven months and trying to spread out our money. So we're going to try and find a solution, and if not, we'll stay here for a week or so and uh, go volunteer at a school or, or farm somewhere else. Yeah, because like, I understand uh, like this money is to help other community, but right now we don't have like $1,000 a week yeah. to volunteer, because you're paying to volunteer. So there, we know there's a lot of options where we can yeah. um, exchange like what we do uh, for somewhere to sleep mm -hmm. maybe not even food you know maybe we can provide our own provide our own food but yeah yeah so. this, is, this is not our only option but um but uh, but Rennie's friend out of uh, so like you have to come you have to come for at least a week and see what it's like just to experience it so so here we are we'll let you know <laughs> In the end, we couldn't find a solution with our budget restrictions, so it was time to move on. But when one door closes, another opens, and we found ourselves driving back to Chiang Mai for another opportunity of discovery. 
This is Jin. We found her on a website called WorkAway, where you can find hundreds of opportunities to volunteer in incredible situations all around the world. She's the owner of a number of English schools here in Chiang Mai, Thailand, and our host for the next six weeks as we endeavor to discover more about this compelling region of Asia. Okay, so what are we eating today? This is a uh, pig intestine. Okay. Here we eat in the north of Thailand and the northeast. Okay. It looks good actually. It looks like crispy. Yes, but uh, it tastes like rubber. rubber. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you like it, yeah? I love it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like che chew chewy, right? Yeah, it's chewy, yeah. yeah. Okay, the first dish. Oh, this is the intestine. Not so bad, it's not so bad. It's not that good. It's good. Do mm -hmm. you think I would like it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> this is for my mom and dad, so they see that they raised uh, a warrior. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, woohoo! <laughs> It's not bad, right? Mm -mm. Not bad at all. <laughs> Literally, it tastes like a sausage for me. Mm -hmm. It tastes like it a. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's I've probably eaten already this when I eat a sausage, sausage and I don't know what it is. Intestine, for sure, probably, for sure. probably. So, you ready for some blood soup now, Rini? No. <laughs> <laughs> With the soup, we use uh, pig blood. Pig blood. But then, if you see the blood, this is a chicken blood. Oh, are you, are what do you think? Do you like it? It's pretty good. It's actually pretty good. Ah! Yeah, you like it? That's good. It's good. It's good flavor. You know, if, if you didn't tell me it was pig blood, I probably wouldn't know it was blood. Like, yeah, yeah, just like I told soup, you. You know, Thailand in the past, we were our own Separate kingdom. Oh. So Chiang Mai. Chiang, Chiang Mai is the capital of Lanna. <coughs> oh, I didn't even know that. I think it's four kingdoms. It's uh the Lanna and the one in the northeast and the south and then the the Thailand, oh. the the center. Rini's being very brave today and she's gonna try the blood soup. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I can taste the blood, no? Maybe it's my mind playing tricks on me? Yeah. <laughs> but you're vegetarian yeah. normally. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> it's very meaty. <laughs> In European country, I felt really um, strange food called vegan food. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes they have vegan egg. And I was like, huh? Yeah, what the heck? Vegan cheese. Vegan, uh, vegan yeah. egg. Vegan and how is it possible? <laughs> <laughs> Lies. In Thailand, for a long time, women normally, they seem to be like a second than men, okay? For example, my family. I need to look good in the video. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Don't laughs> right. If not, then don't film yeah. me. <laughs> like my family, dad would be the one who wear trousers. He earn money and then mom stay home and cook and clean. But every decision mom uh, is the one who makes. Mm -hmm. Like if they want to buy a car, but mom have to be the one who approve, you know? So in Thailand, we don't fight for women right so much because women are already powerful mm -hmm. in their way. And most of Thai women, different from European, they want to be women, they want to be protected, uh, taken care of. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't want to be the right, okay, we go to buy uh, pad thai, you pay 40 baht, I pay 40 baht. No, no. <laughs> we, don't, we don't want that, okay, we want, it's 40 baht, why can't you pay for me? Yeah. <laughs> in Mexico, there is similar, and I've been having to like train Marty for real. Those type of things, like, like in Mexico, for me, I love that local, my dog. I love a gentleman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in Australia, Same. women get offended. Like, and it's the same as Europe. They're like, you think I can't mm. do it or what? It's like, yeah. I know what I'm doing, yeah. but I like, like the same. I like mm. being a gentleman. So we, we don't really fight for women rights and women want to be women, actually. Women can do everything in Thailand if they want to do. We don't really have rule that... Okay, maybe one rule that we have for women is more for uh, religion, the religion like Buddhist. Uh, many temple women cannot enter, for example, Some that temples. because they, you know, some, sometimes uh, this, this religion thing, it's a bit stupid in the way <laughs> that they're like, okay, this is a holy place. And women got period when you got period and you step on this holy pad <laughs> place, then the place uh, become unholy. Oh my god, it's so funny. So something like that. So like many, many old temple in Chiang Mai, there might be one section that they not allow women to step 
in oh, like yeah. that you, but then because most of women here they also have the same belief mm -hmm. so they accept it in Mexico if you're wondering like it's very similar but it's not like hey we don't want to be like the same as none we just don't want to be killed mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so it's a, it's a and, and raped right. and raped but I think here because of the Buddhist Buddhism culture it's way more respectful no? yeah like just respectable because karma because you have to because you're a good person not because you're scared of going to hell yeah you know? in Brazil we are living a, an interesting movement we saw generations when women needed to get married and have children to be a successful woman mm -hmm. now women want to be a successful in in their career, woman wage the salary same as Mexico is much less than men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, like you can be a doctor for the same job. Yeah, the men get paid more. Oh, that's sexist. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, uh, that's not 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 in Thailand. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's crazy because like it, it was like a big feminine fight, and now there's like there's no woman, like there's no genders. Yes, you know it's like wow, well, we're just finding our place, and now there's no genders. No, like ah, oh, mm -hmm. like. There's no, balance? There's no balance, yeah, it's so it's so crazy. I think sometimes people just to have too much time and, and then yeah. they just think about <laughs> fighting for something. Like uh, when I uh, was in the Netherlands, uh, Dutch people, they protest about something almost every weekend. <laughs> I was like, maybe they just want to spend weekend like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, even, they even have a protest, um, make peace with Putin. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Wow! You guys, like people in Thailand, they don't have time to protest, you know? Yeah, I think a poor, you know, poor country. They just think about what to eat the next day. Uh huh. Yeah. Lots you know? of work. And yeah, they don't really think only about. Day by day, yeah. Yeah. you know. John. 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 After trying some tasty Thai delicacies and our first interview with Jin, it was time to get settled in to our new home for the next six weeks. <laughs> During our time volunteering with Jin, we'll actually be living with her father, Ake. Oh. He doesn't speak a word of English and we don't speak a word of Thai. But somehow, we and our fellow volunteers managed to communicate. Oh, Thai whiskey. Yeah, I think it's rice. Uh, it's like rice liquor. Yeah. Yeah. It's, not, it's not snake, huh? No, 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 no. no I thought it was snake. <laughs> We know where it is if you wanna... It's like a watery w whiskey. Ah, no, too much for me. It's, it's good. Ah. It's good. It's, it's very good. Do you wanna have this one? Oh, yeah, that, here. I will taste it. She likes a lot. <laughs> one for you, one for you, right? One for you. Yeah. Oh, Renny, what do we have here? Some coconut ice cream, this is good service. Oh, straight oh, to the yeah. door. Oh, nice. Mm. <laughs> mm. Thanks, Dad. It's good? Mm hmm. Mm. Hey, we're officially adopted now. We officially adopted Dad Barrow's ice cream. Yeah. It's... And he was like, guys, come, the ice cream man is outside. <laughs> and then he just bought us the ice cream. paper and everything. And so he's he... basically our dad now. He's basically your dad. Once they buy ice cream for you, then they're your dad. <laughs> In order to welcome us properly to Thailand, our host Ake, who we now affectionately call Dad, decided to cook us one of the most traditional meals in Northern Thailand, Buffalo Lap. Are you guys excited? Yeah. <laughs> no comments. You? Very excited. That's how I'm inside now. If you eat like this, you can eat it, but some people may have diarrhea. Ooh, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Yes. Yes. Strong? Mr. X says this makes you very strong. So. What about the. It's a beautiful place. This one is the one that got you guys? Ah, yeah. Uh -huh. Looks real, though, like, like an ear. I want to touch it, but I don't want to. Oh, him. It's very chewy. Very chewy? No, I can't. <laughs> I don't know if I like it. What do you think it is, like liver or something? Or? Yeah, that's liver. Wait for it. <laughs> it's not liver, though. Okay, I'm like equally like terrified as I am excited for this meal. <laughs> More terrified now, though. 
know what is this? There's like hair, there's some liver, there's blood, some intestine. I think this is intestine, this is liver. Fuck, oh my god. Literally. Yeah, one last week. That's uh. Oh, did you like, I don't know, like a boss, and then like when you like wake up? The language is. You don't cook? Ah. Uh. You cook it? Okay. Mm. Uh -huh. For me, no. Me, no. Like, do you cook it first or do we eat like this? Oh, just. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Mm. All right. Okay. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Ready? Uh, how do you feel? Yeah. I am, might taste a tiny bit, yeah. but I'm no, I no mean, way in hell I'm gonna eat it all. So Marty, you're gonna eat. You you love eating my part. No, oh, not today. Not today. <laughs> you always finish everything for me. No. This is pure blood. This is this is not cooked. It's like blood. It's a raw pieces of of inside everything. Everything from the buffalo. I don't know if it's like an ear. It looks like hair. Liver, right? Liver. Liver, coagulated blood, more blood. And no, you take a look. Look at this. Like, what is this? What do you think this is? I, I, I don't find question out. it. Let's find out, really. I don't want to. <laughs> you go, <laughs> then I'll go. Really? Okay. You don't think about the bro. It's just. But that's me. Chewy. What's it's that? just gonna be. It's <laughs> just <laughs> blood. The fuck. Hmm? Hmm? Okay. No, you. One, two, three. It's spicy. It's chewy. Lots of nodding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't like the chewy part. I hear only chewy. Okay, okay Maria, I'm gonna try it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait. I need, I need some, I need some more whiskey for this. Can I take some blood? Yeah. Just take it. Take it. Take some meat. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, I don't know. Ah. Oh, it's good. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> now we have to eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Who's taking the next bite? Sorry. <laughs> it's like a buffalo ceviche, but instead of lime, we're gonna get it's some blood. leaves, guys. <laughs> ah, yeah. Ciao. Safe to say, we've had our first real taste of Thailand now. But there's so much more to Thailand than just strange and exotic food. In the next episode, we'll delve into the amazing lifestyle that both locals and foreigners get to experience here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. As we continue exploring what makes Thailand tick with our hosts, Jin and Ake. You know, when they think of Thai ladies, they just think prostitutes. Oh as well as new friends to help guide us through this northern capital of Thailand. Our Thailand adventure has come to an end. We're headed to Cambodia. We're about to hitchhike to Cambodia. My life is a movie. I can make my life whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs>